Excuse me, Guardian, sorry. Welcome to uh, my reaction to the stream. Now, right now, it's still the pre-show. Uh, Luke Smith and uh, Mark Nosewizzy, I think he is, are uh, talking to each other. Uh, I probably blurred them anyway, because there's not really much to see on the screen. But yeah, anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy my first time reaction. Probably best moments, I guess, uh, in one video that I'm going to rush out eventually. Hey, tubers. I, I better put on my mask. I just realized 20 seconds left. Joe, hurry up! I bet, man, if they do another bleeding countdown, I swear. Okay, no, this is it. I hope you can see me alright, because in the thing I seem alright. But yeah, 3, 2, 1. Subscribe. Nah, I'm joking. It's our good. Guys, screenshots, screenshots. Guys, what was that rocket launcher that was there just a few seconds ago? What was that? Nah, it's our house, though. No. <laughs> it's just. Chiefs. I was gonna reach for my drink, but there's no fucking point. Like, I have a mask. Is the Witch Queen. Oh. Very ominous. Oh shit. An actual trailer. Yo! Oh. Truth. Is a funny thing. Where's some horror? Does live in the world or in the mind? Oh, that was a new grenade He's type. Constant. That was one hundred percent a new grenade type. There was no way that was it. it be bent? The hell? universe of light and dark what are there they is no greater power tell me little lights what is your truth now yo are they fucking hive ghosts yo no what oh my god wait are, they're reviving dead hive Oh no! Oh! <laughs> you hear that light? Oh my god! Bruh! The hive straight up have the light! Like, Sabbath Boon has somehow tricked the like, ghost into giving them light or something? Oh my god. That was what sick. That looks really cool. That's Sabbath Boon's throne world. Sabbath this is an uncharted world. wonderland of secrets and lies. Oh, so With this lone pyramid ship out there. Oh. It's the future world she wanted to create. I mean, she has this whole army of hive that she's ascended to the light and brought along with her. Yo. These are the hive guardians, and they are the backbone of her new army. They're so we cool. Let's take the first ever look at the Witch Queen gameplay. Ooh, okay, gameplay. Sabbath the Witch Queen, Hive God of Cunning and Lies. Oh, another After new the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Yo, man. This Not just looks so cool. Course, but out of strategy. <laughs> Wait, was that Warlock tracking In down something? Trick yet. Stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. The light. Oh my god, that's so weird, man. <laughs> it's just like straight up just hive using the light the way we use it as well. Like. Did that sword just shoot? Oh cool! Man! It's a spear! Or a spear! Bruh! That's so cool! Oh what? Yo! Oh, that's so cool! That 
that is legitimately so cool. To reach out and just crush a hive ghost in my hand. This is the biggest threat Guardians have faced yet, so we need to find new weapons. It's always the biggest the threat we haven't faced yet. Let's be fair. The glaive. Oh. I love this thing. It's brutal and elegant. New weapon, new weapon the archetype. Weapon with melee abilities, oh. mid-range projectiles, and defensive capabilities. It's our first ever first-person melee weapon, and it is such an awesome tool for the battlefield. Oh, it's a first-person melee. Well, yeah, obviously, Joe, in the trailer the showed the thing. So good. That's Just so cool. Just jump in and unleash these brutal melee combos and transition right to an energy blast. <laughs> it's really now let's talk about how you're gonna get your hands on one. Okay. These weapons don't come out of chests at the end of missions and you're not gonna find one roaming around the throne world. Your first glaive is not going to be found. It's going to be built. Yes, built. weapon crafting is coming to Destiny 2. Okay. Now weapon chasing crafting. weapons has been an- Now this is a combat focused crafting and progression system. That means the more you use these weapons, the more objectives you complete with them, the more you level them up, and the more powerful they grow over time. What? And at launch. But let's get right into the meat of it. Let's talk okay. about the Witch Queen campaign. All right. Challenge. Let's see. So What's up with this? In addition to our classic normal mode, Legendary is our tougher, aspirational version of the campaign. Oh. The enemies hit harder, and respawning is heavily restricted. And you get to the end, your time will be well rewarded. Whether you want to play <laughs> solo well or with fire. Like, these hive ghosts look so cool, man. Wait, what? Was that a mixing desk? What, what is that? Come on, show us the whole thing. What? Are they displaying the floor? Uh, so Wait, she's gold too! I just realized that. <laughs> the light and darkness saga will end. Oh, but okay. make no mistake, Destiny 2 will not. Last year, we announced the Witch Queen and the following expansion, Lightfall. And now we're excited to announce oh. the release after Lightfall. Oh. The final chapter in the Light and Darkness saga, Destiny 2, the final shape. The final shape? It's going to be one Ooh. wild, continuous ride. Yes, and that ride starts with Season of the Lost. Rather than spoil it for you, why don't we take a look? Okay. We are to survive the coming storm. The tower oh, new Petra armor. Must or stand Corsair united. armor. What the fuck? We are surrounded. A ring of spears pointing inward from the edges of our system. Crow, let's go! A tale of two queens begins. The witch queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We must uncover whatever secrets she knows with the time that we have. Wait, oh, is that your one in the ice from the lore? Sure, I do. We light the pathways of the ascendant plane and guide my people back to me. Was that a Tekken? Okay, Guardians turning uh, Taken as usual. Enter the Shattered Realm. Oh, that's EDZ! The exotic quests. Is it better? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a stasis trace rifle. What is that? Wait, what did he pick up? Okay, what is that? Oh, crossplay. Let's go. This shit is out now, by the way, or whenever the updates finish, like on the servers. Aid the Queen. Rescue the Lost. Perhaps with them I can save us all. Oh. Yeah, see, Petra doesn't even know about thing either, so that actually makes it. Oh, to February twenty second, so that's when Witch Queen might Seasons release. Have gone through. One of the oh, lights are oh, oh yeah. Are the updates to the light subclasses every season in year five of Destiny 2? We're adding aspects and fragments Wait, what? similar to stasis. We'll be starting with the Void subclass update that oh. goes live alongside the Witch Queen. But the okay. Witch Queen is only the beginning of what's to come. The Wayfinder's Compass. The time is at hand. <laughs> Seasonal artifacts! Whoa! It's something that could just straight up produce walls. Okay, trials. What's going on? 
So Trials of Osiris is the in-game aspirational PvP activity and more popular than ever. Two of <laughs> the biggest asks from our community have been adding anti-cheat and adding matchmaking. In Season of the Lost, we're doing both. Oh, yeah! <laughs> with BattleEye to soft launch the anti-cheat software when Trials goes live on September 10th. Okay. And also, you'll be able to matchmake with groups of players to form fire teams or solo queue by yourself. And we've remixed how rewards are distributed to give all players the opportunity that was a new thing, that to person the got. best weapons and coolest armor in the game. That's right. We're right. shifting away from winning matches as a primary way to earn loot, and instead, winning individual rounds and completing matches will allow you to earn some rewards. Okay. Golden Flawless hasn't changed. 13th anniversary event? What's happening? Could you imagine that all of a sudden it's just like, Halo! Imagine they just announced like Destiny 1 remastered <laughs> for PC, that'd be so cool. Ah oh, man, reach! Kate! No! Look at this legend, man. Look at him. Ah oh, man, they had to do that, didn't they? <laughs> Anyone want a hug? Yes. Come on, Kate. Please. Okay. So we're gonna have a party in Destiny 2. Oh, Starting okay. this December, we are launching the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration in Destiny 2. Free for all players, the 30th okay. Anniversary Celebration will offer a new six-player matchmate activity, oh. secrets to unravel, oh. and rewards that commemorate our long and storied history together. And that's okay. just the beginning. In addition to the free event, players can also purchase the Bungie 30th Anniversary Pack that includes a new treasure-themed three-player dungeon set on the Cosmodrome within the fabled Loot Cave. Players what? will plunder its depths to discover an exciting new Thorm inspired armor set and fan favorite Destiny 1 weapons like Isaluna and Thousand Yard Stare. It oh. even has the Claymore Sword from Myth. Oh. Purchasing the pack unlocks a range of awesome Bungie themed armor ornaments and cosmetics oh. to collect, including ornament sets inspired by the Bungie 30th Anniversary Celebration and Marathon. But the dungeon holds one more secret the so crown jewel of its weaponry is a Destiny 1 classic. Gallahorn is making its long-awaited debut Yo. in Destiny 2. Yo! Gally! It's iconic status to the next level. Gally has been oh my God! for the Destiny 2 sandbox. Bro, they so, said it couldn't be December, done. Join your friends and collect exclusive rewards during the Bungie 30th anniversary oh celebration. We've made over the years and a sneak peek of what's coming up. So wait, did I hear that right? That you have to pay for the dungeon separately? Because that's kind of scummy, like... Because there's a new season dropping and you're going to make us pay for the dungeon wow, as well, like. Oh, that yeah, new I bungee pin know. looks sick, man. The 30th yeah. anniversary one. Can you wear that? Because that looks so cool. But there's even more coming next year than okay. just the new seasons. The deluxe edition of the Witch Queen will also include two brand new dungeons to be released in 2022. And oh. we're also going to be remastering another classic Destiny 1 raid and releasing it free for all players. Why is it? going forward, starting this December with our 30th anniversary event, there will be a new piece of raid or dungeon content in the game every three months. Okay, that's pretty cool. In 2022, we will also be adding legacy rotations for raids and dungeons, meaning oh. every week there will be new ways to earn rewards in both the latest and greatest content and raids and dungeons from the past. If you love amazing in-game content, we want to prove that no other game offers more quality and more variety than Destiny 2. Okay. We hope that you've enjoyed a look into the future of Destiny 2. Wait. Witch Queen Wh pre-orders. What's the returning raid? Wherever you play Destiny. Wait. Crossplay is live on all devices, and Season of the Lost kicks off today. Wait. See you in game. No, please wait. What's the raid? No. It probably is Crota's end, let's be fair, but man, I wanted to be King's Fall, though. <laughs> oh, man. That crushing the ghost, though, at the end is so fucking cool. And I'm guessing that's it. They're not just going <laughs> to randomly surprise us with anything else. I think that's actually it. So yeah, I'm going to assume that's the end of the stream. Man, that was some stream. Holy shit. Um, a lot I didn't expect. Um... Well, for the fact that we're literally getting a dungeon basically every three months, which is insane to think about. 30th anniversary is going to introduce another new dungeon that's like in the Cosmodrome. We're getting Galahorn back, guys, Luna. That sniper I just can't remember. And like, just Sabathun in general, like, literally wielding the fucking light. Like, I know it's already been done with Gaul, but like, this is literally giving the enemy our powers. Like, it's so fucking cool.
But anyway, I'm gonna end this now before I literally pass out from dehydration because of this mask. Thank you, Guardian, so much for watching this uh, live reaction to uh, the Bungie Showcase stream. If you liked the video, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Uh, comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. If you'd like to see me react to more things with actual face cam, then please let me know. But for now, thank you for watching.